Hello everybody, it's Pinion, and today I will be doing a speed drawing of one of my original characters, Ziff. Um, I'll also be talking about kind of his history. His, uh, how I designed him. And some tips for designing your own bad character. So, yeah, Ziff is a griffin. Uh, not the most original species, my, but I've kind of made griffins my own species in all glory. They're their own race, they have their own rituals and stuff. So anyway, Ziff was the first villain I created, which is why he looks the way he does. He's kind of stands a lot out compared to some of my other villains because he was the first one. He looks kind of weird. So yeah, a few days after me and Abby made Lily and Pinion, I designed Ziff. We were kind of doing these little prompts, and uh, yeah, it was time to design a villain. That's <laughs> I he's <laughs> he when I designed him, he was really unbelievable character. He, he didn't have a recognizable backstory or anything like that. He just wandered around being evil for no real reason. But recently, after starting to write my second draft on Rover, I have to put more work into his backstory. I will be kind of giving you guys an overview on his backstory in a different video, so uh, like. You can like, comment if you want to see that. So I made Ziff pur purple because that was the only bad color I could think of. The only evil color scheme. Um, the way he looks, though, um, with his big ears and stuff, the way he looks plays a lot of importance into his character development. Just his physical appearance, because that's how Griffin culture is. Um, I really, really love his design now. Previously, it didn't have the green, the lime green, but I love it with that. Um, yeah, I, l I love him. He doesn't play too much of a prominent role with Pinion's storyline, but with the overarching plot, he does have a big role to play in that. With um, Cyclone and Vale, and most of the other characters, he influences in some way. He even influences Pinion, but not personally opinion his actions influence opinion but yeah so some tips for designing your own villain character is make them have a reason to be evil even if that reason to be evil is because they are mandatorily evil it can be uh, pretty much anything as long as it's believable um Wanting revenge isn't that great of one. Um, you can do it sometimes, but don't make it maybe your main villain's point of view is wanting revenge. He can want revenge, but he, I don't know, other motivations just seem less used to me, so they're going to end up being more unique in the long run if you use other motivations. Um, yep. Yeah. I would also like um, re suggest you design multiple villain characters so that they can kind of work off of each other. Ziff has this whole group and they all have this certain dynamic. He's, yeah. I don't want to use my characters as an example because I'm not by far a great character designer, but yeah, just some little tips. Uh, listen to the music and have a great day. This is kind of a longer video, but yeah, this will probably be up on my Redbubble shop whenever I get that fully open, so yeah, bye-bye.